Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to travel faster than the speed of light? That's where tachyons come in. Tachyons are hypothetical particles that, if they existed, would always travel faster than light. But before you get too excited, physicists believe these particles can't exist because they clash with the known laws of physics. According to the theory of relativity, nothing with mass can reach, let alone exceed the speed of light. Doing so would require infinite energy, something we simply can't muster. But here's the kicker. If tachyons did exist, they would flip this logic on its head. As their energy decreases, their speed increases. Violating the speed of light would break causality, leading to all kinds of paradoxes. It's a classic grandfather paradox, and it's precisely why faster-than-light travel is a no-go in our current understanding of physics. The term tachyon was coined by Gerald Feinberg in 1967. He suggested that tachyons could emerge from excitations of quantum fields with imaginary mass. But hold up! Before you start thinking about time machines and warp drives, Feinberg's model didn't actually allow for faster-than-light travel. Instead, these tachyonic fields led to instabilities rather than violating causality. Now, some theories suggest that the mass of tachyons is imaginary, but hold on. Modern formulations often consider their mass to be real. How does that work? It's all about redefining the formulas for momentum and energy. But there's a catch. Tachyons are confined to the space-like portion of the energy-momentum graph. This means they can never slow down to subluminal or slower-than-light speeds. A particle that can only exist in a realm faster than light, never able to decelerate to our slower, more familiar speeds. It's like a car that can only go at hyperspeed, never able to hit the brakes. In a Lorentz invariant theory, the same formulas that apply to ordinary slower-than-light particles, often called bradyons, must also apply to tachyons. One of the most curious effects of tachyons is their relationship between speed and energy. Unlike ordinary particles whose speed increases with energy, tachyons' speed increases as their energy decreases. In fact, as their energy approaches infinity, their speed approaches zero. Albert Einstein, Tolman, and others have pointed out that special relativity implies that faster-than-light particles, if they existed, could potentially be used to communicate backwards in time. If tachyons can transmit information faster than light, then, according to relativity, they violate causality, leading to logical paradoxes of the kill-your-own-grandfather type. This is often illustrated with thought experiments such as the tachyon telephone paradox or logically pernicious self-inhibitor. The problem can be understood in terms of the relativity of simultaneity in special relativity. Different inertial reference frames will disagree on whether two events at different locations happened at the same time or not, and they can also disagree on the order of the two events. Technically, these disagreements occur when the space-time interval between the events is space-like, meaning that neither event lies in the future light cone of the other. If one of the two events represents the sending of a signal from one location, and the second event represents the reception of the same signal at another location, then, as long as the signal is moving at the speed of light or slower, the mathematics of simultaneity ensures that all reference frames agree that the transmission event happened before the reception event. However, in the case of a hypothetical signal moving faster than light, there would always be some frames in which the signal was received before it was sent, so that the signal could be said to have moved backward in time. Because one of the two fundamental postulates of special relativity says that the laws of physics should work the same way in every inertial frame, if it is possible for signals to move backward in time in any one frame, it must be possible in all frames. This paradox is known as the tachyonic anti-telephone. Now, let's delve into the concept of fields with imaginary mass, a cornerstone in the study of tachyons. In 1967, Gerald Feinberg introduced the term tachyon while studying Lorentz invariant quantum fields with imaginary mass. Such fields initially seem to have superluminal group velocities, suggesting faster-than-light propagation. However, it soon became clear that this superluminal group velocity did not correspond to the actual speed of localized excitations akin to particles. Instead, the negative mass indicated an instability leading to tachyon condensation, 
This means that all excitations of the field propagate subluminally, maintaining consistency with causality. Despite the lack of faster-than-light propagation, these fields are often referred to as tachyons in scientific literature. Tachyonic fields have significant roles in modern physics. Perhaps the most famous example is the Higgs boson, a cornerstone of the standard model of particle physics, which possesses an imaginary mass in its uncondensed phase. This phenomenon of spontaneous symmetry breaking, closely related to tachyon condensation, is crucial in various theoretical frameworks, including the Ginzburg-Landau and BCS theories of superconductivity. Another notable example is the tachyon predicted by bosonic string theory. Tachyons, theoretical particles that travel faster than light, play a crucial role in the film's time travel mechanics. In Endgame, the Avengers utilize tachyons to navigate through different timelines and alter events in the past. While the film is a work of fiction, it cleverly incorporates the concept of tachyons to provide a scientific basis for its time travel narrative. The idea is that these faster-than-light particles can create wormholes or shortcuts through space-time allowing the heroes to jump between different points in history. But how accurate is this portrayal? In theoretical physics, tachyons are fascinating yet controversial entities. Although they are not proven to exist, their hypothetical properties have been the subject of numerous studies. In the movie, tachyons are depicted as a key to unlocking the mysteries of time travel, a notion that resonates with the speculative nature of these particles in real science. At last, we talk about the origins and evolution of the concept of tachyons. The term tachyon was coined by Gerald Feinberg in a 1967 paper titled Possibility of Faster-Than-Light Particles. Inspired by the science fiction story Beep by James Blish, Feinberg studied the kinematics of these particles in the context of special relativity. In his paper, Feinberg introduced fields with imaginary mass, now also referred to as tachyons, to explore their microphysical origins. Interestingly, the first hypothesis regarding faster-than-light particles can be traced back to physicist Arnold Sommerfeld in 1904, who named them metaparticles. A notable moment in the study of faster-than-light particles occurred in September 2011, when CERN reported that a tau neutrino had seemingly traveled faster than the speed of light. In conclusion, the world of tachyons remains one of the most fascinating and mysterious areas of theoretical physics. While their existence is still hypothetical, it still exists, where the laws of physics are bent and where new dimensions of reality unfold. From the early musings of Arnold Sommerfeld to the groundbreaking papers of Gerald Feinberg and the thrilling yet controversial findings from CERN, tachyons have captured the imagination of scientists and dreamers alike. They remind us that the cosmos is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled and that the quest for understanding is a journey without end.